All right, welcome back to another video. This time we're going straight into the gameplay. And today we are playing John on an aggressive build more than a objective build. The reason for this is I wanted to show you guys the difference between the two builds that um, can really show what is going on. Now, as you can see, uh, within this gameplay, I am playing really aggressive. I am making decisions to not go for the winch, to not go for the chest, to not play objective whatsoever because I want to play aggressively. Now, I did a little, little bit, bit of whiffing in the beginning, and you can see this. I, I whiffed on the first guards, I whiffed on this guard, and here you can see I'm going to whiff on the sheriff as well. Now, you should know that Bucketman um, asked me to, to start raising him towards the sheriff, pickpocket him first. So, that's the only objective I'm going for real hard, because I wanted to win that raid. And you can see that I, well, Mal and, and I, we really both whiffed on the guard. Bucketman is coming in, he has a grenade. Or at least he doesn't have a grenade, I'm sorry. He, he tries to go behind. He tries to pickpocket. I try to whistle on the sheriff, keep him blocked in there. But the sheriff does not allow. I get slammed by a, by a soldier and the sheriff slams me on the ground. I love his feet in my chest. I really do. But honestly, some days it's just not needed. He didn't ask for consent. Just don't do this, sheriff, please. Anyways. I needed to respawn and there were no spawn points available, so I needed to run from start to the end and that was pretty boring. Yeah, so um, within this time, I'm, go I'm gonna have to say to you, to all of you guys, um, thank you for supporting um, the latest time or the last um, time on my latest videos and stuff. I do really appreciate it, um, the fact that I've gotten a lot, and I mean a lot of new viewers. A lot of new subscribers and a lot of likes and comments on my latest videos. And I am so proud of you guys for, uh, for for sticking around with me. And I'm so happy for myself that all of you are enjoying the content. So um, here you can see that I'm just clearing off a couple of guards because they were just annoying. I throw a grenade over towards the, uh, the tower over there to kill that guard. And here I'm just trying to, to do stuff. I killed this guard over here and the sheriff is there again. I'm like, oh no, sheriff. And I got a weird bounce on the on the grenade. So currently I'm just, well, trying to annoy Bucketman again. Just hope that I can get enough time for the sheriff to get over. Because I want a Bucketman to die by the sheriff, of course. He had to decide to grab a grenade. He decides to play objectively. I decide, oh, there's the sheriff. Let's start whistling. Hope that the sheriff is coming over. So let's block Bucket in for just a little bit. Let's block him in. Hope that the sheriff comes on over. I'm too late. Now I try to push him in. Not gonna throw my nade, of course, but Bucket Man has a grenade on his own. So in the end, the sheriff dies, Bucket Man lives, and I'm not happy miss. about this. I try to sacrifice you. I don't care. You killed yourself. That's on you. I'm living. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> good good fun and all, but here we go back to, to the normal game where I'm going to play aggressively again. Um, not aggressively against Bucketman, but aggressively on this Marianne. Now the Marianne, she did see me in the end. She, I believe she tried to hit me, but in the end, she could not resist a surging smash. I got some good help from, from Mal playing, uh, playing from range. He used an ult for a knight, which is pretty unusual. But then again, if you ask double, that's pretty unusual or usual for me, I, I believe. So, I'm, I'm, yeah. Here again, you see Bucketman almost dying. And as a good team player I am, I did decide that he needed some help. So, here you go. Let's just help him out and make sure that Bucketman does not die. I saved his ass over there. That's what you can say. Now, again, I'm not playing objectively. There is a lot of players around. Um, but there is also a good Robin around. So we are killing a lot of the enemies, and there's not a lot of things they can do. I notice a Robin over here. He flashes me. It's fine and all. He tries to, to get a shot on me. He runs away. I run up, run up behind him, do a surging smash, and he dies. And this will continue for over and over again. I try to fall over this. It's glitched, but fair. Um, but it, it happens over and over again, where I find enemies. I just do a little fight. Either I die, they die, and it's just really fighting more than... Uh, really playing objectively. Like, again, it's really aggressive on how I'm playing. Hoping that I can kill this knight. I, I really struggle with it. So, uh, that's that's fine. I kill it. There's more guys. Bucketman 
he should have assassinated here, but he decides to go for the surging, which is fine. We kill him in the end. I get shot by a Robin. I'm looking for the Robin, and the Robin's up there. I'm like, oh, shit, I don't have anything for him. My Robin is not nowhere cl close to, to dealing with this guy. But you know what? Let's try to grow, throw a grenade up there. He dropped his ult. You can see it, you see it that it's uh, going to go down. And he's going to try to uh, to run away from my grenade, even though I was throwing it there. He did get away. I did waste my grenade over there. It's stupid that I even tried to, I mean, I tried to throw it, because it took so much time throwing it. And here I'm just looking for the Robin. Where is he at? So I'm looking over here, looking over there, and then it's... Oh, hello. There's a Robin. So let's go. Uh, -yup. And he died. And then I hear Marianne, and um, hello, Marianne. How, how nice of you to be here. And at this point, I saw that, well, I, I believe B is up here. So let's go yoink. And again, I was playing aggressively, and I... You, you see, I'm a bit of a dick when I'm playing aggressively. So I waited for the Robin to respawn before I went into the, the spawn point. So that might have been a little bit of a too much dick move, but honestly, um, it didn't really matter at this point in the, the game stage. So, I'm capping B as a John, which is honestly the worst thing you can ever, ever do. So again, mm, not a good idea, but I did it. Bucket Man respawns here, because yeah, well, he needs to uh, to respawn like every second of this game, because apparently he's on the, on the West Coast and we are in EU, meaning that he has a lot of lag and he can't parry for some reason. Now, here you can see me, I'm, I'm just looking around, just walking around, just seeing if I can find people, but there's no people around because we had a, uh, a real good control on where they could go and where they, well, don't go. Just doing little, I mean, those are little objective things because honestly, if the sheriff's down, people can start winching. Um, here you can see, I believe that I'm going to go on the winch and I'm like, wait, I'm not an objective player. Hold up. I shouldn't do that. So I get off of it again. I find this Marianne somewhere in the bush. I don't even know how I found her. It was pure luck that I saw that little triangle or, or the, the little um, square pop up. And I'm like, okay, let's kill it. And here I'm just running towards one character. And I'm like, nah, that's too far. I don't want to go for A. It's too much of a hassle. I mean, they need their spawn points as well because without it, they are losing. And we can stay alive pretty, pretty strong. So that's what we're doing. And here you can see another little fight. It's so, so mean what Mal did it to him, but he, he got headshotted. He used his ult just before that. So it's completely useless, completely useless. And well, here you can see that I'm just going for, I believe it's gonna go for C spawn point if I'm right. No, I'm not even doing that. I just, yeah. Just like, nah, it's, it's no need to, to play that. So I see this John, I'm like, okay, let's let's try to, to kill this John. Uh, Mal and I, again, both with our explosives. And, well, here we go again. It took, and what's gonna happen here is a bad gameplay. Bad, bad gameplay. Because here I'm trying, I'm hitting, and here I'm hitting again, he healed. I'm dropping ult because I'm sure that I, um, I'm going to get a lot of hits in. And I dropped it even though I was already going to die. I should have dropped it before we started the fight, not mid-fighting. Because I wouldn't have won that no matter what. Doesn't matter. I just respawn, walk, walk on over back. And, well, you see what's going to happen, of course. Within this uh, time period, I wanted to say that... Um, Y'all, like I said, y'all are really supportive on my, my YouTube channel. Um, but I wanted to remind you all that I'm also streaming on Twitch. And now I'm not doing that consistently. But um, I do do that sometimes. And best thing for you guys to do, if you want to stay notified of those things, is honestly join my Discord. Because that's where I notify most of my things um, automatically. So I'm, I'm sort of forgetful at some point. Um, and that's where, uh, where I just do those things, which is... Pretty good, pretty good, honestly. And again, um, we killed two guys. I see the sheriff. I'm like, no, I don't want to deal with your ass, so I'm going to blow him up. Of course, you blow the sheriff up. Because who doesn't like blowing up daddy, the sheriff? 
Okay, and we go back to fighting. All right, who's next? Who's next? Come on, show yourself. There we go. It's a believe a Duke who's coming over. Now, I wanted to obviously kill the Duke, but the Duke is gonna gonna go run away because the Duke is afraid of us. And I totally get that. There's two Johns following him. He's really, really afraid. And this, this is what I like to uh, to call the racing game. All right, on your marks, ready, set, go. Oh no! I crashed into the wall. I'm gonna have to say, Tuke, you were absolute champ for racing with me. It's just a shame that the John decided to uh, to drop that on me. It's it's sad, but you know what? I'm gonna respawn and I'm gonna start chasing again. So here we go, round two. What are you doing? No, don't kill him. No, aww. John, you made me crash into the wall. You deserve all of this. Bye. All right. <laughs> that was the raising part. I am so sorry for um, for having to raise new players. One of them even left. Um, and I don't even think this was one of the Tukes anyways. I believe this was a Robin in the end. But at this point, we thought we bullied the Tuke out, uh, out of existence. But this is not the case, luckily. Now we are just playing around with these people and our random decided that it was just enough. He um, he didn't want any any bad name to be called towards his name, which I totally understand, of course, because honestly, we were trolling around a lot and this is just more of a fun game than an actual, um, well, try-hard game or just anything so we were bullying people around and I'm so sorry for everyone who had to be bullied by us but too if you are watching this you are an absolute legend for racing me and everybody else here thank you thank you so much for sticking around um, within the game and also within the video because obviously, I do really appreciate it. And I do really appreciate that you guys are sticking around, watching my videos, and just commenting on it. Just saying what you think is best and you think is good. Well, here you can see we made a victory because the Robin did his absolute best job of winching. I got 11 kills. It was a good game. But man, I'm never gonna, gonna uh, forget that race. Because that race was, was the best. Thanks for sticking around, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Peace out, and goodbye.